Hey Guard Fanatics, so I recently changed out my brakes and I was researching the process of how to break in new brake pads and rotors. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about brake pad bed in procedures and if it's actually really necessary. First, let's go ahead and cover how braking works and why experts say it's important to bed in your brakes. So you have your brake here and it works with two primary mechanisms. There's the abrasive and the adherent mechanism. At low speeds, the primary mechanism for braking is abrasion. You have your brake pad that rubs up against the surface of your brake rotor, and this creates friction. And that heat is then dissipated through your brakes, and that's how you're able to slow down. At higher speeds, what actually happens is the material on the brake pads gets hot enough to where you actually leave a thin film of brake pad material on your rotor. So instead of your brake pad wearing against the actual rotor, you have your brake pad wearing against the brake pad transfer layer. So this is why experts say it's important to bed in your brakes. Now, is it really necessary to bed in your brakes? I think it really depends on your application. If you are going to be tracking your car and driving on a race track, absolutely, because this is going to give you much better performance. However, for a street car, it's really not necessary, and let me explain why. In order for you to actually get the brake pad layer to transfer evenly on your rotors, it actually has to get up to operating temperatures. And this is going to um, bring in the adherent mechanism, which is going to allow that brake pad layer to transfer on your rotor. The problem with this is, even if you could get an even layer of brake pad material deposited on your rotor, What's going to happen in normal day-to-day -day driving is you're going to be primarily using the abrasive mechanism, which means any layer that's been transferred onto the rotor, you're probably going to just remove through normal driving. There's actually a lot of downside to try to bed in your brakes. What you hope to do is apply even layer of brake pad material across the brake pad. But what can actually happen if you don't brake in and bed in your brake pads properly, you might get more brake pad material here, here, and here. What this is going to do is when you actually apply your brakes, this material is going to be transferred unevenly onto your rotors, and you're going to have parts on the rotors that will grab, um, you know, that will grab stronger than other parts. This actually can result in a lot of steering wheel and brake pedal vibration. The other thing that could happen if you try to bed in your brakes improperly, you could actually warp your rotors. Um, every brake pad and every brake rotor has different operating temperatures. And as you're performing these high speed stops, um, depending on the cooling that happens and how evenly you apply your brakes, you could actually do some damage. So I actually don't recommend bedding in your brake pads for a street car. Just drive it normally. And eventually over time, you'll get a thin layer of brake pad that's transferred onto your rotor and this will be perfectly fine for normal driving and if you do want some proof you know I don't know of any auto manufacturer that actually bends into brakes from the factory just normal driving will get your brake pads um, and rotors broken in so don't worry about it thanks for watching guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel leave any questions or comments below